Hello everyone, so today's tutorial is about this neckline, so let's begin. So first I traced my basic pattern on this piece of paper. So after drafting, I'll measure my round neckline for which I measured 4 inches deep and 2.5 inches wide round neckline. And after this first line, I draft 1 inch apart another circle neckline. So the next step is I'll mark 1.5 inch here. And I will join that point to the second line like this. And since I have taken one and a half inch over there, so I will take one and a half inch to the other side of the shoulder so that I can have the same shoulder width. So after this, match your pattern to the new point and draft your new armhole. So if you notice, um, the armhole is a bit down from the first armhole and a bit towards outside. So because of that one and a half inch um, extra, the whole drafting is a bit changed now. The waistline is also towards a bit uh, down. And also I want this shirt to be a bit longer than this one. So I will measure the bottom of this shirt and will take an inch extra to the new bottom. And the side of the shirt is an inch up and the curve of the waistline is removed because I want a straight shirt. And the shirt is also a bit um, wider than the previous marking because the longer it is, the wider it should be. Otherwise, it would be so hard to walk in. So now cut on this drafting. And after cutting, we will measure the armhole. And we will make sure that both drafting should be of the same size. So this is the previous drafting. And we'll match that drafting to the new drafting because both drafting should be of the same size. And the bottom is also an inch high as I told you earlier. So we took one and a half inch extra here because we wanted some extra fabric to have a little bit gathering in the neckline. It won't give you much gathering, just extra half an inch. If you want more gathering, then go more than one and a half inch. Here I'm tracing back of the shirt. And after tracing, I'll draft the neckline for which I am going one and a half inch down and two and a half inch wide and after drafting the first line I will again draft another line one inch apart and also I will mark the new bottom and my shirt will be of the same drafting as the front piece and the side would be an inch high like the front side and then cut on the new drafting. So in the big piece, we didn't change much. And I will separate the, the neckline. So with this, the drafting is completed. And I cut my cloth according to this drafting. So for the sleeves, I didn't cut the fitting in it. And I kept it wide because I want to have some gathering in the sleeves. I didn't show the sleeves drafting here because it's uh, very simple and you can watch my other videos for sleeves drafting. So now uh, I'm showing you how to draft your collar on the piece of cloth. So for that, take your cloth and double fold it. And after that, uh, take your front and back neckline and we should have marked it before but since I forgot so I put it back on the pattern and mark the shoulder sides and this side should be on the folded piece of cloth and this other one should be the shoulder so both the shoulder sides should be attached with each other so once I mark that then I put it back on the piece of cloth and uh, the, the shoulders should be uh, attached before drafting and pin it up so it doesn't move and it, the other end should be on the folded side of the cloth so now cut it out and make sure you leave the seam allowances so now you will have two identical pieces for the neckline so put both on top of each other and run a stitch where I am pointing so 
so this is the front piece of the shirt and this is the big piece of the shirt so put both on top of each other and run a stitch at the shoulders so here you see i run a stitch here and now i will cut off the extra fabric and after that i turn the right side out and will run a stitch on top on all sides to have better control over this cloth and then i will run a stitch in front neckline for gathering but before that i'll just fold the shirt in half to find out the middle in the big piece of cloth and we'll make a slit there and to hem that slit i will attach a strip of cloth and we'll fold it toward the right side and we'll run a stitch on top so that's the hemming for the slit and we'll cut off the extra and now i'll fold the right side of the strip and we'll uh, overlap on the left side and we'll attach a, a snip button here and we'll run stitch uh, at the bottom so after hemming the big neckline slit uh, make the gathering and then uh, to avoid any type of mistake fold the shirt in half and measure the front neckline with the cutout piece of the pattern of the front neckline to see if you have gathered more or less and after that attach the neckline uh, start it from the one end of the slit all the way to the other end and pin up all around and then run a stitch and you are done so you see here i attach the snap button and also i top stitch the whole neckline and you are done so thanks for watching and please subscribe to stay connected